Hi, this is Tom from the Blue Mortgage team. Here to show you how your Blue Mortgage CRM can be integrated with the Flowify LOS system. So to start off, we have the Blue Mortgage system here. And what you can see is it's new this week. And we don't have anything currently new this week. Let's say it was the beginning of the week. So let's see how we can change that by just adding a loan flow within the Flowify system. So let's switch over to Flowify now. So I'm opening up Flowify, and as you can see, I've opened it up to a new loan flow. So let's start. And I'm just going to name this note loan flow 789 as an example. I'm going to put in the borrower's email. So my name's Tom, so I'm going to say Tom, Paul, and then let's make this person for 789 as well and put them in Gmail, just as an example. First name Tom, last name Hall, and then another example, phone number, say 519-555-4365. Then finally, my expected closing date of my loan, let's pick this here. And so we've started that loan flow, and there we go, it's created, and again, see that loan flow 789 there. But now let's switch over to the Blue Mortgage System and see what's happened. So if I just quickly refresh, I can see that that loan flow 789 has been created, which is perfect. And so you can see most of the information has come over, the loan flow, the name, the expected closing date. It starts at the beginning of our stages here. And I also get the flow of file loan ID as well. Also, we create a new contact. So this person, Tom Hall, has been created within your Blue Mortgage system as a per person who's associated with this loan flow 789. That's their name, and we also get their contact information that comes over as well. So now with that complete, let's show some of the other pieces of the functionality. So let's say you're working through in this system here, in the Blue Mortgage system, and you get to the point where you say, do you know what? They're at the stage now where they're pre-approved. And so you just click it here. And now within Blue Mortgage, we know that this is pre-approved. But what happens in Flowify? Because we're going to want that bi-directional capability to see what's happened. And so if I come back over to this loan 789 here, I can just take a look at the loan flow itself. We can see that that pre-approval milestone has been checked off which is exactly what we would want. And so you can see we're getting that bi-directionality in terms of the milestones and flow file and the stages within Blue Mortgage. But now let's continue along. And let's say now you're working out of flow file and you're deciding, I'm gonna just uncheck the communication here, but you're deciding that you're gonna continue your process here. And so we go through the various stages We're checking them off. And then we get to submit it to underwriting. And the reason that I wanted to get to submit it to underwriting, it's because what we call a key milestone. And the key milestones in Flowify are gonna be your pre-approval, your submitted to underwriting, and then your loan funded. We consider these key milestones because they relate directly to a milestone in Blue Mortgage that I'll show you in just a second. So this is what I wanted to do in Flowify. So let's see, once again, what's happened over in Blue Mortgage. So let's switch over. I'm just gonna quickly refresh. And so when I refresh, we see that the stage is updated from pre-approval to underwriting in progress. And this is where those key stages come into play. So the key milestone in Flowify pre-approval, maps to pre-approval here, the key milestone of submit to underwriting goes to underwriting in progress here. And then the key milestone of loan funding goes to the stage here of mortgage closed. So since we hit that key milestone in Flowify, we've updated the stage here. But if you want to get those further details, you can always come down to here. And in your Flowify stages, you can actually see all of the stages as a multi-select field here that's been completed. And so you can see the details of if you had an appraisal ordered or if it had been received or not. So that highlights the integration between the two systems. For starters, when you start a loan in Flowify, it'll appear in your Blue Mortgage system. Secondly, when you update the stages within Blue Mortgage, 
those corresponding milestones will be checked off in Flowify, and then vice versa. When you do check off those key milestones in Flowify, the stage will be updated in Blue Mortgage. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Blue Mortgage team. Thanks so much.